Across Australia at the moment, the market is absolutely flying. Doesn't matter where you seem to be at the moment, prices are moving up fast and properties are getting snapped up extremely quickly. So today I want to talk about six different tips and things to consider to help you when you're looking at purchasing in this crazy market. Now the first thing I really think that people need to take on board is the idea of speed. When you're buying in this market at the moment, properties aren't lasting weeks and weeks and weeks before someone comes along and buys it. Very, very often at the first open home, there will be people already bidding on the property, already people putting forward offers, so you need to act fast. So how do you act fast when it comes to, to buying a property? First and foremost, it's important to have your ducks in line in regards to finance. So that is, already have those conversations with your broker, with direct with your bank, however you're obtaining finance, have those conversations early in the piece, even before you start looking, so that, that way you have confidence in what your budget is and what you can afford to buy. The second big element to having speed when it comes to, to buying a property and being able to act fast is having confidence in the market and your knowledge of that local market. So take the time and inspect properties, even if you don't feel that property is going to perfectly suit you, take the time to go out and have a look at look at different properties as it will give you confidence in the marketplace as to what you can buy for your money and this will really allow you to move forward with an offer faster than if you have no market knowledge at all in that particular area but just fall in love with a, a property day one when you start looking. So. That my first big tip when it comes to, to buying in this hot market is to act with speed. So have your finance sorted, gather as much market knowledge as possible before you start hunting. My second big tip in this hot market is to create relationships with ag agents, especially those local agents that are predominantly selling in your area. You may notice when you look on realestate.com there's two or three agents per suburb that seem to sell pretty much everything. So if you are looking at buying in that particular suburb, it really makes sense to start building a relationship with that agent. And the more that agent knows you, knows what you're looking for, the more likely they are to give you a call and go, hey look Johnny, I've just appraised this property, it's coming to market next week, it looks like this. And the higher the chance is that you'll actually be able to secure that property before it actually even hits the market. And then that way you're not competing with the 10 or 15 other buyers in the marketplace. You may actually be able to secure that property before anyone else gets a glimpse at it. So exactly how do you go about building a relationship with an agent? Well, first and foremost is take the time to have a conversation with them when you meet them in an open home. Don't just talk about yourself, talk about them. Like how you build any relationship, make sure it's two ways. So try and build that friendship. Try and not just contact them once and expect them to remember you. The more times you can contact that agent, remind them what you're looking for, remind them that you're ready to go, the higher chance that when they walk out of that appraisal, that listing presentation and pick up that property, you're the first person that they think of. So really build that relationship and do it over multiple contacts and that's how you'll get ahead of other buyers and get notified before something goes out in a newsletter, before it hits realestate.com. My third tip is something that often gets forgotten about and this is Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace. Not often, but occasionally properties are advertised privately by vendors on Gumtree and on Facebook Marketplace before they hit realestate.com. And the reality is there is a much smaller buyer pool actually looking for property on these channels than say your big channels like realestate.com and Domain. So if you can keep your eye on Gumtree, keep your eye on Facebook Marketplace, there's a chance that you're the right property might pop up for you on those channels and once again you might be able to get to them and get through the front door and have the opportunity of purchasing that property before it's exposed to the whole market. So that's a really important tool to be looking at in this really hot market where properties are getting snapped up fast. My fourth tip is to have a look at properties that have been on the market for a long period of time. Just recently a friend of mine we actually managed to secure a block of four units and these units have been on the market for about four months which is a very long time in this current market. But we went in, we had a look at this property, it was what we were looking for but just the price wasn't right, what they were advertising the price property for didn't really suit our, suit our criteria but we went and had a look at it anyway and it turned out the vendors were a lot more motivated than what we anticipated. We ended up securing that property 10% less than what the asking price was. 
So have a look at those properties that have been on the market a while that look like they have been stale. Go have a look at them and you might be surprised just how motivated the vendors are and what sort of offer they would take. So don't be afraid to, to throw in a low ball offer or an offer that you feel is fair as you might end up picking up that property that everyone else has chosen to ignore. The fifth big thing is misrepresentation. Now, what do I mean by this? Properties often come to market and are misrepresented. It could be through the properties being tenanted, the tenants have a little while left on the lease and just present the property like shit. <laughs> the property could be under rented, so the rent for that property might be $400 a week, but it's currently renting for $300. So this means people will often look, overlook it it could be misrepresented in the marketing. The photos may not actually do the property justice and the, the marketing description may actually miss some major features. So don't always take the, the advertising or the market rent as face value. Sometimes properties are mis misrepresented. Coming back to my first point, if you have that local market knowledge, you might identify that that area is actually a really good area of that suburb and that property is actually being undersold for, for that area and then you can work out why, what's gone wrong with the marketing, is it under rented, is it tenanted, maybe the property just needs a coat of paint and it's just been misrepresented in how it's been presented. So for two or three thousand dollars you could have that property repainted and it would look like a completely different home. So look for those opportunities in this market of properties that have been misrepresented as it certainly can help you secure that perfect home in this competitive marketplace. My sixth and final big tip is to consider professional assistance. Now, there's very few people that will go and actually sell a property themselves, but the vast majority of buyers do go out and look at purchasing all on their own. And I think this can be a big mistake. By using someone that knows the market, has those connections with different agents throughout out the local marketplace, and can identify properties that are either misrepresented or potentially a hidden little gem can really make a big difference in your property hunt. So if you are getting frustrated in the current market, you keep missing out on properties, or you're looking to buy an investment and don't really know where to start, I strongly recommend potentially engaging the, the services of a buyer's agent. Now this is something I've recently started doing for, for clients, and it's something that we can really be of assistance with and bring a lot of value to your purchase. At the end of the day, if you're looking at spending three, four, five, six hundred thousand on a property, making sure you know everything possible about that local market, accessing those deals that may not be available on market, and really looking for those golden opportunities is something that a professional buyer's agent can really bring to the table and be of assistance. So if that sixth and final point, something that resonates with you and something that you think could be of a benefit to you, I'd absolutely love to have the conversation and see if we can be of assistance with finding you that next property, be it investment, be it that dream home. Especially if you're looking here in Cairns where we have that local insider knowledge that very few people are able to offer. As always guys, I hope those six tips have brought you some value. And if we can ever be of assistance, don't hesitate to reach out and give me a call. I'd love to help you find your next, next home.